It's too tiny. Can't see it, you know? Can you relate, ladies? <laughs> oh, funny, I was going to say you must have that problem a lot. <laughs> that was that was very rude, Em. You know, if that was an opener, I'd be offended. You've got to be nice and smooth and sweet, you know? Like this person. Would love to frick you so good. Ew. Don't be that guy. Don't really care anymore. No filter. Not as attractive as you think it is, mate. Not my problem. And I shouldn't have to deal with your repugnant attitude. Oh, he finds that an attractive enough thing to heart. It's good. My ugh, is rock hard thinking about fricking you from behind. Great. Great. Yeah, wow. <laughs> nice to know your anatomy's in order. The bar it was so low, it was practically in hell. And here you are, limbo dancing with the devil. You ever actually want to frick a woman? Try showing a little respect towards her and treat her like a human, not a hole to stick your pathetic, selfish cook into. It's fascinating how many guys don't comprehend that. You you do get very far with a woman when you treat them like a human. What's a hottie like you doing here all alone? Oh, thank you. How are you? Just finished the late workout. Looking nice and fit for our date. <laughs> Winky. <laughs> but it's too late and I have my requirements a little. Uh-huh. Not for tonight, obviously. <laughs> well, what's your requirement? I have a boyfriend far away from me, but I have a deal with him. If I need smex with somebody else, I can, but I must recording it. What do you think? I think no. Mm, I don't trust that. I feel like there's sites out there. If you genuinely want that with someone, you can go onto some sort of adult site that does that. Yeah. I mean, she should get with that other woman who has a cock as a husband. Baby daddy. Yeah, there you go. Win-win. Mm. Uh, here we have Blue. Okay, so diagnosed amnesiac. Does that mean this could be like a 51st date experience? I can't explain to you how not funny my disability is. Well, now I feel like a dick. Hopefully we can just forget about this opener. <laughs> And she did by not uh, responding. <laughs> I bet he thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is I totally would have used that as an opener. <laughs> we got Summer being very genuine and honest straight from the get-go. Hey, can you send me 20 bucks? Let me out. I'm stuck at a gas station. Cash at me now. What the fat... <laughs> <laughs> Cash at me now, fat frick! <laughs> <laughs> what a great gal. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Don't you love it when they just show their true selves within the first few messages? Are you looking for love or hookups? Lamel, I have no freaking idea at this point. Well, right now, I'm just looking for DND. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> <laughs> Dick and dinner. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Why not both? Yeah, why not? Find you a girl who can do both. <laughs> you find... Quadruple D. <laughs> you find yourself entering a misty cave. It is my butthole. <laughs> Why is it misty? <laughs> Here we have Alina, 26, lives in Durham. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm married with three kids. I'm five foot, four foot 11 and three fourths if we want to get technical. I'm not looking to cheat on my husband. He knows I'm here. I'm just looking for chats and a confidence boost. I am real, but admit I'm schmidt at replying, especially on Tinder. Here's my snap and only just started Insta. Okay, if you're on Tinder to chat and meet friends and socialize, you have a terrible sense of just social compass. Like there are so many other avenues to socialize with people and get to know people. I, I honestly, look, I'm making a huge assumption about people who do this, but I genuinely think it's them trying to weasel their way into escaping their relationship and responsibilities as a parent to possibly, you know, hey, they just been, they're just chatting with some friends, but hey, if Prince Charming comes around, well then, <laughs> hello. Those are my thoughts anyway. Imagine with Basil. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out a way to commit genocide. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> You're handsome. Wow. Run. <laughs> so that's how Hitler got married. <laughs> Daniel super liked you. Hey there. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Could ever pick a Zelda pop up. Not Zelda. <laughs> fuck. Link. Oh god, I did the thing that people normally do. Oh no. Mm, Zelda's the girl. <laughs> <laughs> So do you give good head? Big requirement to have you over. Okay. <laughs> now, lots of teeth and a gag reflex so strong it can't handle a toothbrush. I love this. And despite that clear lack of ability to give good head, backflips anyway because, hey, she's a woman. Damn, that's okay. <laughs> what can you do though, lol? Lay there, Daniel. <laughs> she can lay there. Starfish. <laughs> or maybe you could please her. 
What a wild concept. <laughs> You're a hoot, Emily. <laughs> uh, pleasing a woman. <laughs> uh, what's next? Equal rights. <laughs> we have uh, Kiara's chest butt. Dream date. You watch me and my roommate play New Super Mario Bros for six hours, and I suck your dick. <laughs> so, hey, you sounds like gold. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a good time after the six hours. Hello, Courtney. So, what video games do you play? I play Fortnite mostly now, but I also play Spyro. Nice. Crash, Mario, Animal Crossing, and Sims. Nice. When I get bored of Fortnite. Well, do you have like every game system? No, I just PS4 and a Switch. Oh, cool. I have a PS4 too. Uh, what night are you free to get a drink this week? Now, I'm busy tonight. Okay. Excellent conversation skills. Excellent. This is, I think this is probably the, one of the biggest things I hated about Tinder is like when someone offers a date, to, a time or date to hang out and you say, oh, I'm busy. You don't just leave it there. You offer an alternative time or date. You don't just be like, no, can't do that. No. Nah. What else do you got for me? Come on. You got to bring more to the table here. I gave you enough by giving you a response. I bet you'll like me more than my dog. Pig bet. If I'm right, you gotta let me take you out. Deal? Are we talking like a sniper? Maybe, what, just a basic pistol? A bazooka. Bazooka? Oh yeah. I'm sure he will take her out with a bazooka. <laughs> His dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're both over the age of 23. <laughs> I honestly avoid meeting new people, but deal. Then why are you on an app that is about meeting new people? For the validation. Ugh. For the confidence boost. Nice. I don't have a dog. So, where and when? Oh. Smooth. Very well done. Smooth, sir. That's sort of in a way manipulative, but in a healthy sense that he hasn't actually really wasted her time beyond just a reply. Mm. I feel like hitting you. <laughs> well, only one way to make that happen. Oh! Man, now nah, he's scoring. I'd be pretty impressed with that. Uh, yeah, I'd be too. And yeah. I'm straight and I would go down <laughs> on him. No, I wouldn't. I, mm. Then we'll stay on the same page because same. My group chat with the boys is just an onslaught of memes and banter that most friendships couldn't handle, lol. Oh, let's send each other memes. And watch anime while punching lips. Better not harvest my organs though. Sounds great to me. I won't. You're too cute for that. I will have to collect some semen though. Trying to turn your mouth into an unborn daycare? <laughs> Why, yes. <laughs> God damn. That is... <laughs> they honestly seem perfect for each other. Now tell me if you can see what this person is looking for. If you can Sherlock Holmes this bio. Hybrid blood. I'm an Aries. Queen Lilith. Welcome to hell. Proud B. Not looking for friends. No hookups. No frick boys. No ugly people. Seriously, you think you have a chance? Uh, stop it. Don't swipe, because I won't. If you can't speak English, then don't bother talking to me. P.S. If I am too mean for you, then keep walking. Sounds like a real catch. Yeah. This is one of those things where, like, I understand the whole stigma of girls hate the idea of having to always be smiling and being friendly and stuff because it's that, you know, push um by patriarchal influence to you know oh you gotta smile you gotta be friendly you're a woman you know don't 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 frown you don't look nice when you frown but i feel like we're starting to develop the other end of the spectrum where like just there's these kind of people who are just unnecessarily aggressively rude like calm down it's like the female version of frick boys like overly sexual frick boys like ease off a bit y you're okay you've gone a bit too far what an opener Wow, looking pretty submissive and breedable. <laughs> that's what I sent to you, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's how you approached me. That's right. Except then I became unbreedable. <laughs> <laughs> and I became a maid. I'm five foot eleven, therefore not looking for lassies any taller. Because while I don't mind being eye to eye to you, I won't ever be looking up to you. Looking for someone intelligent enough to be good company and sexually available. Preferably insatiable sub. I'm a music production enthusiast and enjoy DJing, dropping beats with an eclectic taste. So perhaps you'd have me drop something of yours to see if you're to taste. Ooh. How, how's that going for you, Em? Did, did me reading that seduce you? Did something drop for me to taste? No. Okay. I love that I'm not looking for anyone taller than me. <laughs> uh, that was my favorite thing, wearing heels on first dates to make guys feel insecure. <laughs> I'm a tall gal. And if you lied about your height and your profile, I don't expose it. <laughs> that is... <laughs> it's the small things in life that bring me joy. <laughs> and then watching them like feel uncomfortable and try to talk around it, and I'm like... 
Oh. I can hear you from up here. <laughs> good times, good times. <laughs>